anatomy of a dicotyledonous root. Epidermis The outermost layer is epidermis. It has a single layer of epidermis cells, some of which protrude to form root hairs. Cortex has several layers of thin wall parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces. The innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis. Endodermis, single layer of barrel shaped cells without intercellular spaces and contains Casparian stripes, water impermeable layer consisting of waxy suberin. Pericycle. Next to endodermis lies a few layers of thick wall parenchymatous cells referred to as pericycle. It has thick wall parenchyma. In these cells, initiation of lateral cambium and vascular bundles responsible for secondary growth takes place. Fifth, it is small and inconspicuous. Vascular bundle. It is single mono arc. The parenchymatous cells which lie between the xylem and the phloem are called conjunctive tissue. There are usually two to four xylem and phloem patches. Later, a cambium ring develops between the xylem and phloem. All tissues on the inner side of the endodermis, such as pericycle, vascular bundles and pith constitute the stele. Anatomy of monocotyledonous root. The anatomy of monocot root is similar to the dicot root in many respects. It has epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle, vascular bundles and pith. As compared to the dicot root which have fewer xylem bundles, there are usually more than six polyarch xylem bundles in the monocot root. Pericycle. Secondary growth is absent in monocots. Pith is large and well developed. Vascular bundle. More than six polyarch. Conjunctive tissue. These are the parenchymatous cells that lie between xylem and phloem. On maturity, Cambium rings develop between xylem and phloem. Steely. It is a structure represented by all tissues on inner side of endodermis, such as pericycle, pith, vascular bundle. Anatomy of a dicotyledonous stem. The transverse section of a typical young dicotyledonous stem shows that the following parts. Epidermis. Cortex. Pericycle, vascular bundle, and pith. Epidermis. It is the outermost protective layer of the stem covered by cuticle. It may bear trichomes and a few stomata. Cortex. It is present between epidermis and pericycle. It is divided into three parts, namely hypodermis, cortical layer, and endodermis. It contains few layer of collinchymatous cells and parenchymatous cells with conspicuous intercellular spaces. Rich in starch, the innermost layer of the cortex is called the endodermis. The cells of the endodermis are rich in starch grains and the layer is also referred to as a starch sheath. Pericycle. On the inside of endodermis and above the phloem in the form of semilunar patches of sclerenchyma. Vascular bundle. In between the vascular bundles, there are a few layers of radially placed parenchymatous cells which constitute medullary rays. Vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. This arrangement is a characteristic of dicot stem. They are conjoined, open, and have endarch protoxylum. Pith. A large number of rounded parenchymatous cells with large intercellular spaces. 
which occupy the central portion of the stem constitute the pith. Anatomy of a monocotyledonous stem. Epidermis, covered by cuticle. Cortex, the monocot stem has a sclerenchymatous hypodermis, rich in starch. Pericycle is same as dicot stem. Vascular bundles are scattered and closed with peripheral bundles being smaller than central. Flowen, parenchyma is absent and water-containing cavities are present. Pith is absent. 